Would, would you allow Ethiopian Jews to settle here? Absolutely, yeah. Would you allow Ethiopian Christians to settle here? Yeah. Would you allow Ethiopian Muslims to settle here? So your issue is not ethnicity then, yeah. your issue is the religion. Which means that the church acknowledges no borders. The church acknowledges no boundaries. We do not care if the Muslims say you can't go to Mecca. We are going to take the gospel Amen, to Mecca. God. Giving ourselves over to hatred is one of the key problems of ethno-nationalism. Because pride and hubris in something as vain as your race very quickly and very easily leads to hatred of other races. I, I want to do a discipleship with the people group that you're talking about. Oh boy, oh no, oh no! So, okay, so we're ready to rock and roll. Action! He yeah. said other gods are available. Oh, okay. Like, is it going to mock him? Yeah, yeah. Tell us, tell it, Ralph, Ralph, Ralph. So, just, just, uh, just explain your political philosophy to me. The philosophy? I can do the philosophy. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm an, uh, so I'll, I'll frame it in the light of the events that got everyone excited. Okay. So I'm supporting a new, in the formation of political party with some other people. Yeah. And it sort of best matches my political understanding of the world. Okay. I'm a Christian, neo-reactionary. Yeah. The Christian bit, I don't have to mention. You don't have to explain I don't that. that bit. I understand neo-reactionary as well. Yeah, neo so, And I believe they're currently no, under accelerationism no, and the top narrative. You what, sorry? Under accelerationism and the top narrative. People are getting faster, quicker life. People yeah. are moving quicker, air traffic, yeah. transportation. Everything's getting faster, quicker, cheaper. We have a threat that, that is basically a demographic threat. Yes. And within that demographic threat, we want to preserve it. Yeah. And what are we trying to preserve, Ralph? The ethnicity to cover all the countries for the reason right. that we would have a stability. And in my view as a Christian, but that stability would lead us to an order of peace. I, I, I want to challenge this idea that we need to preserve the ethnicity. And I, I want to posit to you that biblically, from a Christian perspective, yep. ethnicity is superseded. Correct. I agree with you. So right. you don't have to convince me of that. Okay. I right. believe, for example, my black Christian brother is more of a brother to me than anyone else. Yeah. Right. If, if I had a brother, which I don't, and he's not a Christian, my yep. heart would go to my Christian brother, independent of ethnicity. Would, would you agree? Would you agree with me? Would you agree with me that the English have long since abandoned the Christian faith? They have. I think the Enlightenment, I think, was the start of the demise. And yep. Since then, it's only got worse. And recently, sixties, nineties, it's it's catastrophic. So, what is the benefit of preserving the English ethnicity? <coughs> because I believe that if we had a national government, it would be a tactical ah. measure to resist the globalism that is allowing the neoliberal world to carry on. Okay. And part of that downstream is this Russian people who could never be or were never English or any Christians against a shrinking Christian form. Which needs to be like protected to be preserved in a whole new generation. So so let me So traditionalism to the shadow. Let, let, let me address a couple of points that you've made there. So if I bob you around just gonna have a little chill. Alright, so so in terms of in terms of ethnicism, we agree that ethnicism is secondary to religiosity, the, the religion, to Christ, to, to the church. Okay, we agree on that. We agree that the English are not the friends of the gospel. They've lost their ways. Yeah, they, they've lost their ways. And in terms of therefore preserving the ethnicity, you, you, you argue that if we can preserve the English ethnicity, we can protect a shrinking Christian court. I, I don't argue that for that reason. I argue that if, if we want to protect, slow down, slow down the rocks, if you like, yep. and then heat it back upwards, what would be the most stable system in which to do that? Right, but hold on. The, so in terms the stable of, system in, would be natural. But, but in, over the course of 2,000 years of Christian history, what we've realized is the church can survive in, in the most acidic situation. I don't see the church dying. Yeah, the church the church will be triumphant. Like like look at look at Japan. You know, the Japanese decided they were gonna wipe out Christianity and then you had the secret Christians who lived on the island. They survived right up until the Japanese reopened. Look at look at Saudi Arabia. Look at Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia. I'm sorry, I can't understand it. What so you, what you guys are in and stay there. Don't I'm not moving. I, mean, I have not taken a step. I haven't moved an inch. I never move an inch. 
<laughs> when do I ever move? I apologize to the start. Leon, my name is not Shamsi. I don't run. Like, I don't run. That's Shamsi's trick. Where is, where is the old Gonzales? You know? Usually high on the social pedestal. Yeah, he's going to be short. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's short, so he needs a, a bit of a, a elevation. So but my, no, hold on, my point is, you're arguing. You're, you're seeing the wrong enemy, I would suggest. To you. As a Christian, you're seeing the wrong enemy. Because what you're saying is that we need to preserve a stable system which will give the church the best chance to recover. Society and then hopefully the church right. as an organization. But what I'm saying is that our loyalty as Christians yes. and thus our political activism must solely and only, did you get that? Solely and only be for the triumph of the church. Absolutely. Now, the church will survive yeah. no matter what. I believe that too. Yeah. I, don't, I don't feel like, I don't feel the Corpus Christi is not going away. The Corpus Christi is not going anywhere. Yeah. So, so, <laughs> so the fact of the matter is, my, my suggestion to you is, let the English die. Let them die. If they don't want Christ, okay. then what good are they to the kingdom? <laughs> That's a great question. I guess, yeah, I take a Christian Darwinism. Now, if, 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 they have second, accepted, if we were go. to create an immigration policy no, answer, that said that we were going to allow mass immigration from Christian countries. I'd be for Christian migration. Yeah, no, no, right, I know you're for Christian migration. And this is, by the way, is why he's not a national socialist. No, I'm not. Because a national socialist would never be in favor of allowing Pakistani or Caribbean or African Christians into the country. But you would be in favor of that. Um, Christianity is, yeah, and my problem is, well, you've asked the probably, in my view, you've asked probably the best question I've heard in Speaker's Corner. So I'm still processing it in my historical mind. But I think, yeah, I think the problem is, would it be a moral question if I said I could reclaim Christian nationalism? Would it be okay to let go of the flock and let them die or in ethnicity to fail? I've never thought of that question. It's a great question. I think my, my instinct says yes, but something in me, like an act of love, says no. no it's no, a great question. We don't, we don't want the English. We don't want the English no, to I can't, perish. I can't want, yeah, I can't but, feel but like when I can't you, want when that. you become a Christian, you join another nation. Yeah, I feel part of that. I, feel yeah. part, I don't feel that straightened to me. So, but it is a great question. I really would like to dwell on it. Cause, cause, it's cause, a fantastic cause, question. Because the thing yeah. is that, the, that it's axiomatic to yeah. a, a, any form of ethno-nationalism, the idea that when you are born again as a Christian, yes. you are born into a royal household, yeah. a holy priesthood, yeah. another nation, a royal nation, Absolutely, a yeah. people is what we're described as, a people set apart. Yeah. If the church is a people set apart, then that means that we are another ethnicity yeah. now. We are another ethnos, yes. the ethnos of the church. Yes. And that means that <laughs> here's, we're not line. bought to the English, Absolutely. or to no, the no, no, Nigerian, no, 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 no. or to the yeah. African. The supremacy is non-negotiable for me. I, I do not. I would never compromise my Christianity for anything down And I get that. I, I accept That's that. not happening. But for me, it's an interesting fault line because you say that. But there's a, the, that question I have to dwell on. That's a great question. But if you imagine the abstract organizing principle of society, then the neo reaction, the neo bit, or the reaction is we're computer science based and mathematically yeah, oriented. And we're looking, going like, hang on. So there's abstract collectivism. You've got these three competing global warriors, the global neoliberalism, the middle liberals, the left and the right. And the church is obviously in the right, it should be in the right first, but it's combo there. So the question is for nationalism, this is where the debate is. You look at the Christian nationalists really like storming the, the voice, E. Michael Jones, etc., storming the zeitgeist to thought. They're claiming surely the English, like you do and I would agree with you against say someone like Vinny, have lost their way because they've lost their ways of the ways, the ways of the And to restore them, however, needs something like a stable place where they could be, uh, especially if you think of generation but they are more young nationalists. I, I want to, for example, young nationalists saying they support every live stream chat with a thousand people. They say they support. They can say they support. They can say they support. But they're young still. Right? Yeah, yeah. But yeah, if but they, they say, say they support, they say they support. They say they support. They say they support. If they say they support, but they, but they, they ascribe that God as some kind of tribal god. They'll start there because there's genetic yeah, there's, racism. No, 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 hold on a second. Oh, if they, if they are saying they're small, but, but their vision of god is a, a, is a tribal god, yes. then that means that they have lost they the god. Yeah, so they've not embraced Christianity. So they've been learning their ways. Yeah, well, yeah. they're going to agree. There's, there's, there's room for improvement. Yeah. But you said that, that tr a Christian political narrative sits on the right. And I want to challenge that as well. Because, yes, morally, socially, in terms of our values about things like family, we, we would sit more comfortably with 
traditional conservatives Absolutely. than we would with a large part of our David base Cameron's are, conservatives. The large part of our base are traditional. We would, we would, yeah. cultural Christian, we, we, would sit, we would sit on the traditional right. Absolutely. But if you look at if you look at the the idea of monasticism, the idea of lay monasticism, the idea of the Book of Acts where it says, and they shared all things in common, and no one was in want. That is the idea of, of Christians having elective communism, which is left wing. But I do mean the right wing in the in the traditional form of communism. I meant to more right wing in the reactionary model of of hierarchy. Yeah. So of God of spirit. Much more than I meant just a political model and maybe you know right wing authoritarian socialism. But my point is this: different the different generations. You look at the data. In 2025, we have we have an objective to get to end seats. Thirteen years from today, we'll be 18. Yeah, and we look at the generation of Zoomers and Millennials, and we say, where are they in their life journey with or without lives? And the nationalist movement has reinvigorated people with the feeling that if you have ethno nationalism without spirit, you're back to tribalism and you neo Yeah, Tribalism can't touch Islam. You have no spirit. What are you fighting and living for? I don't need to tell you this. The young blood are very, very open and their stewardship now must be in that form that says nationalism gets them to collect by any way because with or without the ethno bit, they have a common. But, but the collectivism. Let's talk about the collectivism. Let's talk about. Let's talk about the collectivism, because I agree there should be collectivism, right? Christians should coalesce as fellowships, and those fellowships should coalesce as groups of fellowships, and those groups of fellowships should mobilise and work together. Okay. But it is on that basis that there should be coalition. There should be co that, 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 that Christians coalesce around the apostolic community, not around a political party, not around an ethnicity, not around uh, some form of tribalism. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, be honest with you. I'm missing. I'm missing. I know you are. I know you are. I know you are. I'm not one of these people that villainise you, Ralph. I really am not. I do think, just on a separate point, and not to get caught up on it too much, I do yeah, think doing, been I, I, I do think doing the Heil salute is a bit childish. And that, I should I probably stop it. Yeah, it's it's part of the countercultural. It, it, it's part it, of our audience is. are young. The Heil salute is older than Nazi Germany, just saying. But the point is, it is it is it is silly to do it in our context. It's unwise and as Christians we're called to be wise. Can we have a separate conversation about that one? Because yes, that, separately, that's a great one. separately. But, but nonetheless, my point of just putting it down is that we already have the following I'm not aware if you're sure of the marketplace of Christians and nationalists. We have in the generational game, if I brought in the generational data side by side, I can show this to you. We have a large number of Christians who are young, yeah. therefore raw Christians where I look at it. Looking at they've got as opposed to devoid of spirit, the atheist nihilist is longer. Yeah, yeah. They've got spirit in them and they're young and they have to be guided. Then they're nationalists. You can feel the hollowness, but they don't have Christ. Yeah. They're ethno nationalists and they sometimes fill up with this kind of rage, yeah. but they don't have anything above it. So yeah. they get a bit 1488. And, 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 and we, we're aware of them, we cognize them as the elders of them. Yeah. What we want to do internally is unite that spirit back in the market and nationalism because we and our numbers say two thirds of the marketplace has got a latent amount of 20% of seats. Yeah. So, right now, Dominic Cummings is hiring the smartest computer science and data guys because we know the right wing wedge is up to 20%. They saw what happened. I'm, I'm, I'm not, 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 not here to argue about the, 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 yeah, the yeah, demographics yeah. of the, the right wing vision. Yeah. But what I'm, saying is, what I'm saying is that, that hard right nationalism and hard right ethno nationalism is in contradiction to the Christian narrative. And I'll give you an example. Hebrews 11. All these died in faith without receiving the promises, but having seen them and having welcomed them from a distance and having confessed that they were strangers and exiles on earth. Did you hear that? Absolutely, yeah. Where? No, I don't think on, earth. on earth. Does that include everywhere on earth? Yeah, I appreciate I myself, I'm a, yeah, I, I for want those, a For those who say such things, make it clear that they are not... Sorry, my apologies. Make it clear that they are seeking a country of their own. If indeed they had been thinking of that country from which they went out, they would have had opportunity to return. But as it is, they desire a better country. That is a heavenly one. Which means that the desire, the desire of the Christian in terms of our politics is about bringing the kingdom of heaven to earth. It is Amen. not about the preservation of an ethnicity. It is not about preservation of a nation state. It is not about the preservation of a particular yeah. culture. Absolutely. But there's been a problem with this. Because if you look at, and I, you probably have the data better than me, 
Christians are being persecuted, prosecuted, and murdered around the world. Absolutely. They're being ethnically cleansed yes. first, even without being Christian, from the entire Middle East and other parts yes. of the world. If we look at the higher narrative as near reaction, say accelerationism, I would argue, and then others argue with me, that I would love to introduce them to people to argue. I'd love to meet these guys. Theologic, absolutely. We would argue. Yeah, I'd love to them all. And I'll we'll organize I'll, I will organize, and there was someone that said to protect the Christian fellowship, which is that of the abstract and exile of the land. To protect the Christian fellowship, it's necessary to protect the land in a as subordinate to protect the ethnicity. They argue with me, ethnicity without spirit will not even say the ethno I get I get that you're so they're, not, they're not, they're not I, I being get, ethno. I get that you're not a plain ethno national. I get that. One's religion is more important than one's ethnicity. Would you say ethnicity has? still has importance although you view religion as higher. Religion is definitely higher than ethnicity. Sure. In the order of value, our our faith or not in Christ is the deciding factor of one's personal allegiance. So my personal allegiance is to every Christian in Ethiopia than it, or every Christian in Russia than it is before every atheist Englishman. Okay. But what, what, once you have the Christianity then, what, then what about ethnicity are? If if a group of people are Christian, then 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 their ethnicity has already been superseded and they are now part of the confederacy of the church, which is a collection of ethnicities, tribes and peoples that are worshipping God. There's nothing innate about the ethnicity that needs to be preserved if it doesn't have value in the kingdom of God. And if I may I say, when I hug my Christian brothers of any ethnicity and race, I don't feel that ethnicity and race. I feel a Christian brother in my heart. I don't feel them as a physical being. I feel them as a person. I don't feel it. So as a Christian, I don't feel them. Yeah, but I don't feel them. So if you were to take away, so let's say in my case, so I'm not Christian, I'm not are you an ethno-nationalist? Uh, would be called it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, patriotic. So you're an ethno-nationalist? Yeah. Okay. So you take away religion. Yeah. And one of the things, you know, religion serves a purpose. It's a set of you know, cultures, beliefs, values. So it's sort of moral guidance. Like, so you take that away. Yeah. So why should you not preserve ethnicity? Because that's the second best thing that we have as a nation. Okay, allow me to believe in religion. Because I ethnicity is... No, I'm going to put that like... Okay. Because I would so, say... Okay. I would say yeah, ethnicity yeah. has you know, their own sort of cultures, and values, and morals. That aren't shared with you know, the rest of the ethnicities and races. So, so let, let me address your thought experimentally directly. You've said if we, if, you, if, you, if we take away uh, religion, yeah, then that means that we can. Is that haircut? Brother, brother, do you want to talk to me or do you want to argue with a pirate? Uh, forget, forget, forget Mr. I want to be a communist over here. You're talking to I'm not a communist, mate. So, in terms, of, in, terms of, in terms of what we're talking about, I would say to you, that there is nothing in England that needs to be preserved unless it is built on Christ. And that includes the very people themselves. If they aren't built on Christ, let them die. No, I wouldn't kill them. But what I'm saying is, I'm not interested if they preserve. Well, their spiritual death is leading to their biological death. They abandoned Christian roots and traditions, and now they've given up the family and have given up children, and as an ethnos, they are literally dying out. The English will be a footnote in history. But, but my point to you is that in terms, of, in terms of the Christian worldview, it's more than just moral guidance. It is more than just ethical guidance. Christianity is a comprehensive worldview of which ethics and morality are one part, but there is a greater paradigm which gives us the cause that we fight for, it gives us spiritual experiences that enrich our lives, it gives us values, it tells us what to ascribe value to and what not to ascribe value to, it gives us an ethic by which we can live our life, a virtue ethic, it, it enriches the soul and it leads to salvation. It's based upon a supernatural reality. It's more than just moral guidance, and that's the problem with 
with ethno-nationalists that want to capture Christianity to their own ends. Because when an ethno-nationalist captures Christianity to their own ends, they just want to reduce it to some cultural festivals and a couple of morals. And that's not Christianity. I agree with you, but here's the dynamic of sport. And this is why I think meeting people like E. Michael Jones and others are our team of the I'll meet with anyone. Absolutely. It's that you've got this problem that in this accelerationism, the rate of these people coming in who are not Christian and not ethnic has been accelerated. So the, the ethnic response, well. so the ethnic well, response to those without Christ yeah. has been primarily ethnic. Yeah. It's shaping the world anyway. Yeah. The Christian nationalists go, look, the ethnics are taking this anywhere and the projection 10, 20, 30 is a cycle reversal on its way. Yep. They're going to push nationalism. These chaps need the spirit of Christ. So what they're doing is precisely what you just said, my brother. Right, right, and, right, that, and that's where that intersection is. So we can't throw an ethnicity like the lady was trying to imply. Ethnicity is present for those who don't have the spirit and they're actors on the ball anyway. Yeah. And non Christian, non Christian, just look around you on the game theory. Yeah. So, let, let, so let, let, nationalism is an easy way to defend, and, that, and that's a debate. Let, 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 let me, uh, there's another yeah, point, let, let, me, let, let, me, let me make it clear. I absolutely believe that ethno nationalists should be evangelized. I believe that there should be evangelists working amongst ethno-nationalists to bring them to Christ. I believe that just because you're an ethno-nationalist doesn't mean that you're somehow untouchable. I would happily sit down and do a Bible study with a room full of ethno nationalists. And we have those voices. I don't, I don't, I don't simply dismiss them because I believe that every soul is precious, every single soul, including the pirate here and this brother. Yeah, and the Salafists. <laughs> even the pirates. <laughs> yeah, even hi the hijab and the Hashims of this world and the Mansours and Ralph and any neo Nazi. I want them all to be saved. All to be saved. And and giving ourselves over to hatred, giving ourselves over to hatred, is one of the key problems of ethno nationalism. Because pride and hubris in something as vain as your race very quickly and very easily leads to hatred of other races and it is totally unjustified and it is completely against the new covenant established by Jesus Christ. I, mean, I, this, I disagree with that. Just yeah. because you're sorry, which bit do you disagree with? What you said it leads to people hating other races. It's not necessarily hating other races. It's just uh, an objective view. I said it very but, easily. Yes, yeah, but it doesn't necessarily do so. No, not necessarily. Because it's an objective view that certain races are quite frankly incompatible with other races. In the same sense that I wouldn't move to Somalia because I wouldn't fit in Somalia. I don't believe that certain races should. What about what about Ethiopia? And he's an atheist. They just don't hate his heart. What about Ethiopia? Would would you allow Ethiopian Jews to settle here? Would you allow Ethiopian Christians to settle here? Would you allow Ethiopian Muslims to settle here? So your issue is not ethnicity then. Your issue is the religion. No, 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 hold on. In our thought experiment where you're in control of immigration, you said you would accept But I wouldn't accept you would accept I wouldn't Jewish accept an atheist Ethiopian. Right, but so what you're talking about, therefore, is I, have, but that's the. They don't even have the values. One second. One second. They have zero one second. Values. One second. But what you're saying you're then? Atheist. One saying then. I'm, not, I'm an anti-theist. So what you're, but what you're saying? <laughs> you're you're a Hold on. Values. Wait, wait, wait. Apparently I'm a hippie. <laughs> don't speak out there. No, so you lower the IQ of the entire part. No, I'm not going to run away. Don't right. speak out loud. <laughs> because what you, in your categories that you've just used, what you identified was beliefs, not ethnicities, and that is the point that I'm making. That it's about beliefs, not ethnicities. So you're agreeing actually with me, not the other way around. It's a values-based approach. So it's a values-based approach that you're using. So, so we're not talking about ethnicities. Ethnicities are not the issue. So it's not about it's not about some races can't live together. It's about some beliefs can't live together. And I agree on that. Some beliefs cannot live together. They're incompatible with the Western society. Oh, Sorry, oh, I would say that an atheist. Oh, 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 what are you doing? You're harassing us. Look at him. Look at this man. Why are you attacking Christians on speaking here? You're hating the Christians. He knows what I mean. Look at this man. He just poured water on me. He just poured water on me. Are you going to have a go at him? Why are you attacking Christians? You're hating Christians speaking. 
I put it back that way. I should have done that. You've been annoyed. Stop it. Listen, can you just go? You're just disrupting the conversation. No, he checks all the time. When people heckle him, you can't handle it. He's throwing water. Sorry, Lister, you're provoked. But leave us alone. We don't want to listen to you. No, no. It's not a proper apology. Yeah, I'm sorry, Lister. Do you not like free speech? Do you not like being heckled? He's apologised. No, I'm going to stay here and heckle him. Exactly what he does to other people. Exactly what he does to other people. It's all over the internet. Go to something like that. He's put all the other so, as you can see, as you can see, the self-entitled lefty thinks that he has the right to impose himself on every conversation, even when he's not wanted. Every Even when his opinion is not invited. Him the way he treats everyone else. The problem. Treat others how you the, the problem. It's not, not the problem with the self-righteous lefties him how he is that treated. they think that only no, think their opinion can be heard. Oh, I think this is and that no behavior. other opinion can I, be heard. I'm demonstrating through my stupid behaviour Thank you, we behavior, all agree how, how that he behaves stupidly well. and now you are doing just as bad. Hey, I'm just responding to the wet arm that I've just, just You done. will survive, Lister. You're a pirate after all. <laughs> Right, yeah. can we continue the conversation? Yeah, let's get back to the about. conversation. We apologize. I apologize for all the rockets. I'll, I'll, I'll get made. back to where I was, heckling from the side. Just like can we continue the, the conversation that you're not yeah, monitoring? Yeah. Right. So, so back to where, where, the, point. The, point that, the point that I was making. The I'm point that I was making. Here. Don't, nice heck, guys, Sam. focus. Easy lift up. I, if I can focus on you two, you two need to focus on you, us two. Right? So just focus and ignore it. Yeah, it's just noise, that's all I hear. So back to what we were saying. In terms of, you've agreed with me that it's not really about race, it's about values and beliefs. I said that part of it has to do with values and beliefs. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. The other part of it, you know, what I said about an atheist, yeah. But that's, when you say atheist, you're talking about beliefs and values. What is an atheist? Is it an atheist race? No. Is it a belief system? An Ethiopian without beliefs. Is it a belief system? Right, so it's not the question of whether we're talking. Are you, do you have no self-discipline in your heart? He's alert. Yeah? This is why you need Christ, bro. I've already had it. Christ will help you. I've already had it, bro. I grew up as a Christian. That doesn't mean anything. You may have grown up in a, you may have grown up in a Christian family. That doesn't mean that you, you grew up as a Christian. We have an understanding of Christianity but, that you don't know. But, but may I stress test you the other way? Go on. So I think the problem is if you take the Christian compass of a second, which I don't and can't, and you look at what's happening on the board is atheist nationalists are jockeying for political power. In the last, since 1979, no right wing party has more than 2%, and the last 10, 20 years as a reaction against mass immigration, here's an understanding in a cultural war of values, of ethnicity, are, are preparing to stop across the open. So back it up. I believe the Christian voice is essential. There are ethnic nationalists who are atheistic and want to reject Christ for reasons again for Jew hate. Right? They're, they're anti Jewish. Then they will, they take they transpose their hate in the field with this thing you call a privation of pride and they they, 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 they they do the wrong thing. But they're open to Christ. So that I think that intersection is going to be pivotal so, so let I do it. Let me tell you what that's your trajectory. So let me and, 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 and you have and you have precedent in history as well and I'm gonna explain what that is. For those of you that want to go away and look into this, you can look into the Christian Socialist Movement. The Christian Socialist Movement was born because some uh, Christians with a sense of vision and gumption about themselves saw that communism was going to rock the world. And they wanted to develop a Christian response to, a Christian response to the, the, the rise of communism. Now, whether your assessment of atheist nationalism about to storm the world is accurate or not is a, a deeply debatable point. Deeply debatable. I point. can defend that one. Very well. However, 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 and I, I have no problem with Christians engaging with nationalists yes. at all. X percentage of those people. Right. Let me give you an example. So I left. I spent a year in Germany. But that, but that engagement should be to seek to cultivate those people to be disciples of Christ and to use their energies and resources, their abilities and skills to the defense of and the triumph of the church. Now there was a key point to your argument that I want to address. You stated 
that, that you see this uh, intersectionalism as a way of creating a buffer, uh, a defense of the Christian church. Did I misunderstand you or is that something deep in the buffer we can go to later? A, 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 a transformation of thought. Okay, we are young boys to be Christian as early as possible as long as possible. Amen. Amen. But 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 in terms of in terms of that the, what you're assuming is that the church doesn't have the right to defend itself. The church has neglected the demographic of participating in this time. No, the, they don't go to church, they're on YouTube. They're talking to them, they're yeah. talking to their numbers, yeah, yeah, yeah. but they're not going to physically necessarily do it. The church but they're already connected to the church. I mean, the, the, the church is back a lot. We, we, agree, we, we agree that the church is badly led. That's we have bishops, in the space, we have bishops that are sold out to left-wing politics, they're nothing but cultural Christians, and they've abandoned any defense of the church. They, uh, most, uh, lots of Anglican bishops are really just heretics. You know? But the, the reality is, real Christian identity I appreciate what you're saying, they're not there. Places in national and Absolutely, but if you imagine that year is a process for boys who don't understand that, I yeah. do and you do. They're on a pipeline. How, how old are these boys? How old are these boys? So you can see that boys are there around, but as you know. And you look at the elders, the big 67. Tell us about the 14 boys. Uh, we must see the existence of any sort of people and a beautiful for their children as a template. Sort of as a template. So we stand like with the Dalai Lama. We must secure the existence of humanity, <coughs> Congo, the future of Congo. Yeah. So we can't just say we want our future and yeah. independence and then we go do things to you. Here's we are non interventionists. Non interventionists. Here's my problem with the 14 words. And very mimetically powerful. I, 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 agree, I agree that the idea of the 14 words is that any ethnicity can say them. Any ethnicity can say the 14 words. But can a Christian, should a Christian say them, or should the Christian insert the words Christian instead of that's the highest 14? That's so if you So say the 14 words as a Christian. We must say the Christians and Christians. There we go. And that is the heart. And that is, the, that is the heart of Christian. And we have voices. Come back to Christ, Ralph. We have voices in there. He is in Christ, Chris. He just needs some discipleship. We have the boys who have individual space of their age group in that high time. Thousands of them have shot in it. And they've lost the detachment. And they, 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 they're fourteen. Some of them are fourteen. Some of them are crossed over. Some of them are crossed over in the and that, that that process, if we left it, if we left it to die, it would either fail off or succeed if we tried it. And if you, and it, I agree. Which is wrong. If you just take Christian. Me and you are in agreement on a lot of things. Yeah, a lot of things. What do you well, agree? Well, with what so what? What I would say to you. What I, what I would say to you. What do you agree I, I agree with, with, with the idea. I agree with the idea of of evangelizing and bringing them to faith. And without faith, ethno-nationalism is just tribalism. It will fail, it has failed, and it's going to fail again. And my brother Bob has inspired me to take the 14 words and templatize in the Christian format and it infects the nationalism. And that is the only way that the words can be mentioned. And infects the nationalism. I would do that perpetually. Perpetually. We must secure the existence of Christendom and the future for all Christians. There you go. Did you hear that, Leon? I missed it. I missed the weapon. We must secure a future <laughs> for Christendom and all Christians. All Christians includes Ethiopia. Or it doesn't matter the order. All. That's all. What That's, what That's, what That's what I'm saying. Do you agree? All. Leon, if you have Christ in your heart, you're my brother before any other brother. What's your opinion on an accent between the two? You're the winning side. <laughs> okay. Are you going to take this guy seriously when he says uh, so, he uses propaganda like Goebbels? Made, made from one Adam, every nation, ethnos of mankind, Anthropon, to live on all the face of the earth having determined their appointed times and the boundaries of their habitation. Amen. So let me deal with that. Let me deal with that. I'm not paying attention. The, 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 the apostle is speaking into the realities of the world. Those boundaries that are appointed by the Lord yeah, are superseded by the kingdom of God. It says that, that, that Christ will reign in the midst of his enemies in the Psalms. That the Messiah will reign in the midst of his enemies, which means that the church acknowledges no borders. The church acknowledges no boundaries. We do not care 
if the Muslims say you can't go to Mecca, we are going to take the Amen, gospel brother, to Mecca. Brother. Amen, brother. We don't care if the Muslims <laughs> claim that <laughs> Constantinople, <laughs> Constantinople <laughs> is theirs. We are going to celebrate the liturgy in the Hagia Sophia again. Amen, brother. As Christians, we do not recognize borders or boundaries. They are the things of nations of this world. The things that are passing away of this order of things. But the church will outlive them all. Many ethnos have come and gone. Many nations, have passed, many nations have passed out of the histories, like the Picts. Who speaks of the Picts today? They're gone. Their culture is gone. They, 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 they now assume to themselves a culture that is different. The church, however, the church, however, has outlived many a nation and many a people. And that is what you should come to. You should come and bring your energies and resources and every nationalist that is out there and every ethno-nationalist that is out there needs to come to the teachings of the apostles and the prophets. For many of you, that is actually your heritage. That is actually your heritage by birthright and you should embrace it with the fullness of the conviction in your heart and commit yourselves as disciples of Christ to the triumph of the church, not the triumph of the nation. There is only one holy Catholic and apostolic church, and there isn't another. That is the heart of Christian politics. Solidarity with the persecuted Christian, based upon a Christian identity, connected to Christian history, Christian culture based upon Christian values and a Christian worldview. When we become a Christian, we stop being English, we stop being Nigerian, we stop being we stop being we stop being we stop being Ukrainian, we stop being we stop being Albanian, we stop being Serbian. We stop being Palestinian, we stop being Greek, we stop being Coptic, we stop being Arab, and we become Christians, and we are united together in a confederacy of Christ. Perfect. I will read something, we can have a meeting in chat. I want to do a discipleship with the people group that you're talking about. Oh boy, oh no, oh no! Don't respond. Don't respond. It's just water. It's just water. Yeah, but it gave you back when you gave him. Come on, man. Okay, I wouldn't respond. You're an asshole, Lester. Right. And you see, that is the difference that Christ makes in your heart. Lister lives by a code of eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. Ralph, Ralph, Ralph. This is not a milkshake. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Right, go on. <laughs> So the point that you're making. Okay. It's alright. Yeah, I would like to do. Yeah, you want to meet up if you want, if you want to own, if you want to make a, if you want to set up a, a live stream with as many of these people that you're talking about, I'll gladly do a Bible study. But can I ask you a favour? Right? Absolutely. Can I ask you a favour? Just as a, a, as a human to a human, as a brother to a brother, I see within you a tendency to play up to the crowd. That's not really my intention, I've just happened to be for a while. Right, but, but, but it gets annoying, I don't really like it. Yeah, yeah but, but maybe stop yourself from doing some of the sillier things like doing what else. What's right with your Sometimes, brain. sometimes, <laughs> well, you I give in to that temptation to be a shock jockey and you say things just because it gives people a rise. You're not doing the cause any favours when you do that. Yeah? I'm saying remarkable if it's by the laws right now. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. Show restraint in your own heart. Show restraint in your own heart. Right? This brother needs Christ. Yeah, he's doing it. I have a different interpretation of Christ too. There is only one interpretation of Christ, and that's the one given by the church. Are Arians Christian, in your opinion? No. Oh, well, Jamie wants to have a go at this. Are you an Arian? He wants no, to be an Arian. Are, 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 are you an Arian? No, 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 I meant like, I meant the, the church of, um, the church of Arians. Um, Arians. Arians, who um, said that God and Jesus and God are separate. 
So, yeah, yeah, so exactly. a Christian has to be a Trinitarian in your opinion. Yes, Christian is a Trinitarian, and that's not my opinion, that's the opinion of the Christian community. That was an opinion settled at the Council of Nicaea and Constantinople long before I was born. I'm very curious why they settled on that version of Christianity. But you're a Trinitarian, aren't you? Oh, you're a Trinitarian and a pagan. But let me ask you this question. You, you, can't, claim, you can't claim a heritage connected to your ethnos unless you connect to the Christian church. Alright, so the, right, the length of the Belvica slash British people has gone on for 4,500 years. You think for just 2,000 years of that last history it defines the whole spectrum? Yes, there. because you have no historical connection to what came before. So the genes have not changed, really. Well, the genes have changed. Not so, not really. The they the stay pretty consistent yeah, of that. Yeah. The Normans, the Romans, the Vikings. Came, apart from the Romans, the, the, the Danes, the Saxons, the Celts, the Normans, they all come from the same genetic okay. group of people. So, so, our, <coughs> so our genetics have changed? No, they've the stayed mostly homogenous. No, they've changed. Celts. Celts are not, the Celts are not Germanic, but they're part of what we would they call... They came from the same people of the Neolithic times. Yeah. And most, and most Celts, of the Romans here were, were Saxons. And the same, they had the same genotype. Red hair, Celts. blonde hair, blue eyes. These are very fragile things that we should protect. Like, protect There's them. nothing <laughs> special about them. Well, I think it's special. It's very There's nothing hair. special about them. Yes. Yes. I agree with you. Wait, wait, wait. You misunderstood me. I agree with you. Being white is beautiful. But so is being black. And so he's being Asian, and so he's being Latino. In their own unique places, it's not healthy to have no, no, no. black people what? in the Northern Hemisphere. What, why, Just what, like it's what's, not healthy what's wrong with it? In the what's wrong with it? Because we are used to an ecology because of the environment we live in. For me, for me, I would gladly replace you with a Nigerian Christian. I would gladly replace you with a Nigerian Christian. No, the aggressor's back in the game. No, he's just threatening me with violence. Honestly, Lister, you're, you're, you're a rude guy, I'm not really interested in talking to you. So, you're not a you're not a defender of any. Record the aggression of Cameron. You're just an eccentric. You're not even a preserver. Because your kind of ethno nationalism pushes people away from any kind of sensible conservatism. You drive people over a cliff because right. your ideas are so extreme, it makes it hard to form alliances I mean, with other Christians. It's not extreme in Japan. Yeah. It's, 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 it's not extreme in Japan. You, it's not extreme in Japan. People yeah. like you, in South Korea. people like you will be the death of the English. You're no savior of anything. You will be the death of the English because people are so revolted by your ideology that they reject sensible conservatism. They reject sensible traditionalism. I love my extended family. Yeah, but that's not what the My family, according to Christ, is those who follow him. That's your opinion. That is my belief. But you don't have the same genetics. That is genetics. my belief. The DNA is very different. I have. You can't go I don't care about genetics. <laughs> right, well, some people do. I do not ascribe the value to genetics that you do. Because in the new covenant, that system of thought ended. Yeah, fuck the Renaissance, they gave us they, such that, that horrible system, things. <laughs> that system of thought ended. You know, you, you throw out words like the Renaissance, you yeah. don't even understand You don't like the Renaissance because it's pagan, you know, it's pagan I don't oriented. hate the Renaissance at yeah, all. Yeah, you, you love the medieval Christian. The um, Christian era is something that I think we could learn a lot from. Oh, and it's I, I something that, that we should learn a lot from. I accept that. And it's time for people in Europe to re-embrace their Christian heritage with some pride. Perfect. Adapted to something new. But you, you can't embrace that because you reject the Christian heritage, which means you reject the last 2,000 years of your own history. No, I mean, let me see, here's the problem. It, literally, I see a schism between Christians across generations. So if you look at Jamie's generation downwards, and we have the data, and literally the people who are our boys, if you like, they don't think the same way. We want them to think the same way, and we need them to, but they already don't think so. So if we ignore them, Christianity won't be a part of the I, 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 I've already agreed, yeah, which and I, I agree, so he's speaking that really ethno-nationalists yeah. like him do need to be evangelized. Yeah, that's yeah. Right, that's yeah. right. But where ethno-nationalists like him make themselves into the enemies of the gospel, then ethno-nationalists like him need to be outmaneuvered, sidelined, at least. That's the process of fight, and that's where the fault lines are. Yeah. Okay. And so, that's, that's where, so, because they're coming anyway. So, I, 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 I am not against yeah. what you're trying to do, yeah. but I do yeah. honestly think that sometimes you don't do yourselves, you well, that's, don't that's, do yourself yeah, like a But remember, our audience is not these people. It's a completely who's different our, set of people. Who's, who's the, the people who are nationalists. You're a nationalist. He's evangelizing nationalists. Oh. 
And there's nothing wrong people. with evangelizing yeah. nationalists. No, no, nothing wrong with that. As long as you evangelize them to the right, to the right thing. Amen. Well, yeah, do you have a so, problem with um, medieval um, TV shows having people that didn't exist in those times? Like, I don't know. If they're presenting it as a historical drama, yeah. Because it's not accurate. Right, okay. right, so why are we um, advocating for policy that means less people What's living in the country? I have, I have no problem. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that I want the white races to disappear. But you have to what, 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 I, what I'm saying is. If I had to choose between everyone in Europe being Christian or everyone being in Europe, sorry, everyone in Europe being Christian but not white or everyone being white but not Christian, I would choose to let everyone in Europe be Christian but not white. There's nothing innately valuable about what the colour of one's skin other than the fact that God made it. But God made every race, and so every race is equally of value according to their ethnicity. Right, but the, the Old Testament really uh, demonstrates um, how um, the tribe is the most important factor. You know. I think I think another way to respond, if I speak to where Jamie's coming from, is there are lots of boys so in different the generations, young men, making, make, creating this voting base <coughs> across Europe that are more rationalist than they are spiritual. So it's not either or, or it's not precedence. Like, do you meet it? How rationalist they are after 50 years of culture marketing. But it's how spiritualized they are. Yeah. So it's not either or flip. And those people are coming and Jamie saying it's a highly racial rationalist. Let me ask you this question. They, so they're, they're not going to agree with you because they don't really care. What, and what, that's the goal. Well, in, in everything that you've heard him say, yeah. in everything that you have heard him say, what is what are your problems with his <laughs> viewpoint? My yeah. only problem, no, I don't see, I don't have a problem with his viewpoint. I see him as a. So you have no problem with the viewpoint you said. No, no, no. He said. Let me finish. I don't see a problem with the viewpoint per se. I see any one of his viewpoints is on a journey of a process that will either get you where you are, hope you truly need towards that, or it won't and it will fail. If it fails, then it doesn't really matter because it doesn't matter about it. If so it succeeds, it's our duty to put it that way. So you're so saying. So I take every person I meet and the hundreds of them and I, I block them on that spiritual overlay of the compass going right. Here's where you're in your spiritual overlay versus your rationation. You're using. Am I right in thinking you're using a Hegelian paradigm? A sort of, yeah. Right. So you're using a Hegelian paradigm that presumes that unless nationalists are even become Christians, that then nationalism will fail. Is that correct? I, if I look at my, no, if I look at my highest order narratives, they come from ex Christianity under acceleration, and I want peace on earth. So if I look at peace of earth from the top coming down and this global disaster happening, then I go, gosh, if nationalism is right, all these people are in different stages of the process of what is going to be secured in the worst case with 100% ethnats and no Christ. Forgive me, Ralph. So if they have 100% ethnats with no Christ, we're looking at dub dub three coming. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're looking at. And if you think that hate you see, yeah, yeah. That, that's going to be excellent. This, this, this kind so we of. So see that hate from statistics, but, 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 and, and I agree with you. I agree with you that. that Ethno-nationalism for its own sake should be opposed by the church. But let me ask you this question. Let us assume that your Hegelian thought process is right and that demographically actually the ethno-nationalists and the nationalists end up becoming a dominant political force in this world. Which is what we're seeing. <coughs> when push comes to shove, yeah, it's accelerating. When push comes to shove, are you willing to fight for the church against the ethno-nationalists? Okay, he's not the ethno-nationalist you think he is. I'm not an ethno-nationalist. I keep telling you that. I know you. I keep telling them not to let the rats I'm helping you to prove it. Yeah, I'm a Christian, I'm a Christian absolutely. And I'm helping you to prove it. Because, because, well. So the problem with the dead match is the problem with the going to go, look, if you look at that dynamics and you see that replacement demographics, you see the 2030, you see 60% being breached, this vacuum looks like conflict. If you plot the hate crime statistics and just in the UK, prior for 10 years, it's about 8, 10 years ago, they're just going across your over up. You see the tension coming down. The vacuum is going to be replicated. Would you agree with me that that's because of the failure of liberalism oh to tackle uh, radical uh, Islam? And just generally to make a nihilistic uh, yeah. society. Yeah, the, 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 the reality is, the reality is, the liberal, the liberal, the liberal, the liberal progressives, the liberal progressives have created the problem because of their own failures to deal with Salafist forms of Islam. And mass immigration that's only been But I would suggest to you that I would suggest to you that the muscular a muscular church, a revitalized strong Christian spirituality is the thing that will speak to him the most. And will speak to other nationalists the most. When when Christians recover the kind of spirituality that inspired the Christians to throw back jihad one, jihad two, and jihad three. 
when we when we recover that kind of spirituality you'll find that working class lads who have nationalist opinions come into the church we as Christians need to recover a strong sense of our own identity because it's only when we recover our own identity as Christians that others that are seeking for a strong identity will find it. But we have to be clear what that identity means. That identity means that we ascribe to ourselves the identity of being a disciple of Christ, not of being an Englishman. Not of being a, a German or a Frank or a Catalonian or a Celt or a, Den, a, a, a Viking. Even a Welsh. Or a Welsh. <laughs> it is, that's a Celt. And the problem Bob is here is the majority of the demographic people in the data are not thinking that way right now. They're accelerating their we spiritual connection things yeah. at, a, at a formidable rate. And that's why you should and evangelize. You that. I'm not against yeah, evangelizing yeah. them. I'll even, help. I'll even, I'll even, we'll set up a so line. Should Bob and Levi for Joe? I'm just a Christian. What I don't, does that mean? I don't believe, a, a Christian is someone who is a disciple of Christ. They look yeah. to Christ as their teacher, they and accept who he get, is, and they follow him. I get that. What, what sort of church do you go to? Obviously. I'll go to any Christian church. Any? Any Christian church. So you're Protestant? No, I'll go to any Christian church. Roman Catholic, Eastern Orthodox, Coptic. Evangelical, Baptist, Methodist, I'll go to all of them. But they, they're not all combined together. They all Agreed. Combined. Agreed, they're not. But that is the failure of, 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 of Christians over history. But the reality is that the community, the people of God, the, the community of faith... Yeah. But, but the, the people of God are found in all of these denominations. They're not just found in one denomination. <laughs> okay, but uh, I'm just saying that most denominations do have this start. So I've got the terms. So, so my job is to convince as many Christians as I can to adopt this position. To adopt the uh, ec ecumenical. Not, yeah, that. Yes. That's what I'm Yeah, yeah. I, I, I encourage Christians to adopt an ecumenical position. Okay, but would you not say that the Orthodox Church, the Catholic Church, are incapable and Protestants are incapable? The, the church is not defined by any of these denominations. The church is that collection of people who seek to follow Jesus in their lives. And they will recognize one another. And you find them in the Catholic Church, you find them in the Orthodox Church, you find them in the Protestant Church. And they recognize one another as being disciples of Christ. Yeah, yeah, I agree.